The Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court has fixed August 1st for a decision in the application filed by former Sabah Infrastructure Development Minister Datuk Peter Anthony for a stay of the conviction in his corruption case. Sessions Court Judge Azura Alwi set the date after hearing lengthy submissions from both parties on Thursday. On May 26, 51-year-old Anthony was sentenced to three years jail and fined 50,000 ringgit after he was found guilty of using false documents relating to a system maintenance contract nine years ago. The court granted him a stay of sentence pending his appeal to the High Court. The former vice president of Parti Warisan also paid the fine the same day. On June 11, Anthony's lawyer filed for a stay on his conviction in the case. This was to ensure the conviction would not jeopardize his nomination for a parliamentary seat in the coming general election.